morning students yesterday uh, cbse has released us sample paper for and in the sample paper there are certain question so today we are going to discuss the question that were there in the cbse sample paper 2020 the question is a student has two resistance 2 ohm and 3 ohm she has to put one of them in the place of r2 the current that she needs in the entire circuit is exactly 9 ampere show by calculation which of the two resistors she would choose now she is having a option of choosing either 2 or 3 ohm 3 ohm 2 ohm or 3 ohm so now in here this r2 she can choose either 2 ohm or 3 ohm now the potential difference between a and b is given that is 12 volt and as you can see this r1 and r2 are connected in parallel and the current required is 9 ampere so now what we will do is first we will find the total resistance of the circuit that will be using v is equals to ir now v is given in the question that is 12 volt i that is needed is 9 ampere so by using the formula v is equals to ir we will find the total resistance of the circuit so v is 12 is equals to i is 9 into r so r is equals to 12 upon 9 so we'll cancel this this will become 4 upon 3 so r is equals to 4 upon 3 ohm that means the total resistance of the circuit is 4 upon 3 ohm now we have to find r2 so 1 upon r because since they are connected in parallel so we know the formula 1 upon r is equals to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 r we have calculated that is 4 upon 3 so it becomes 1 upon 4 upon 3 is equals to 1 upon r1 is 4 ohm so 1 upon 4 plus r2 we have to find so 1 upon 4 upon 3 that will make it that will become 3 upon 4 this 1 upon 4 will transpose this side so minus 1 upon 4 is equals to 1 upon r2 so this will become 2 upon 4 will cancel this 1 upon 2 so r2 will be equals to 2 ohm that means she should choose the 2 ohm resistance in the place of r2 to get the current exactly 9 ampere now let us solve the next question that is the question number 36 of the cvc sample paper 2020 this is a 5 marks question in the given circuit a b c d a b c d are four lamps with a battery of 60 volt these are four lamps a b c d and having a battery of 60 volt what kind of combination are the lamps arranged what are the advantage of this combinations of lamp which lamp glows the brightest find out the total resistance of the circuit now we will solve one by one now the first question is what kind of combination are the lamps arranged as you can see they are connected in parallel so the first answer is the lamps are arranged uh, they are arranged in parallel combination now what are the advantage of this combination of lamps as we know the advantages of parallel combination the first advantage is that if one lamp is faulty then it will not affect the working of other lamps if this lamp is faulty this or B, C, D, they can still work on. And the second advantage is all the lamp that is A, B, C, D, they will be getting the same potential difference of that of the battery that is 60 volt. So each will get the equal potential of 60 volt. And one more advantage is that they all will have independent switch. So they can work independently. If you want to only switch on the lamp C and we can put this off all the A, B, D and it will still work. So each will can be each appliance can be or each lamp can be operated uh, independently. Now the third question is which lamp glows the brightest? The lamp which is having the highest power will glow the brightest. So here we can use the formula that is P is equals to VI 
and in this you can see that potential difference is 60 volt for each lamp that is A, B, C, D. So this will have the, this is having the highest current that is 5 ampere. So this will be glowing brightest. We can calculate. If I take the power of the bulb A, then we'll have the formula V I A. That is V A is equals to 60 into 3 ampere. That is power of A will be 180 watt. Similarly, if we see the power on the B lamp, that is V I B. The formula is main formula is this P is equals to V I. Here the power of this is 60 into 4 because it is having the 4 ampere current flowing. So that will be equals to 240 watt. Similarly, if we take the third one that will be V I C. So power of the lamp C will be 60 into 5 and that will be 300 watt and power of the fourth lamp that is the D lamp is equals to V I D. So power on the lamp D will be 60 into 3. So that will be 180 watt. As you can see in the lamp C, the power is 300 watts. So the lamp C will glow the brightest. Now the fourth question is find out the total resistance of the circuit. Now what we'll do is we'll calculate the total current here. Now in this 3 ampere, 4 ampere, 5 ampere and 3 ampere. So I is equals to IA plus IB plus IC plus ID. When we'll add them, that will make it 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3, that is equals to 15 ampere. 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3, that will make it 15 ampere. Now we have to find the total resistance of the circuit. We know the formula V is equals to IR. What is V in the question? That is 60. I, total current is 15 into R. So R will be equals to 16 upon 15 and that will be equals to when we cancel this this will become 4 so the correct answer is the total resistance of the circuit will be 4 ohm so the lamp C will glow the brightest and the total resistance of the circuit is 4 ohm let's solve the question that is there in the CVC sample paper 2020. It is a 5 marks question based on the chapter Magnetic Effect of Electric Current. PQ is a current carrying conductor in the plane of the paper. Find the direction of the magnetic field produced by it at point R and S. Given R1 is greater than R2, where will be the strength of magnetic field be larger? If the polarity connected to the wire is reversed, how would the direction of magnetic field is changed? Explain the rule that is used to find the direction of magnetic field for a straight current carrying conductor. Now, I have, this is you can see here in this figure, the current is flowing from Q to P and R and S are two points from this uh, current carrying conductor and R is at a greater distance as compared to the S. That means R1 is greater than R2. Now, this I have shown in the this the uh, paper also, the current is flowing from Q to P and it is R you can see as at a greater distance as compared to the S from the conducting wire. Now the first question is, find the direction of magnetic field produced by it at point R and S. At point R and S, so we have to find the magnetic field. Now see, we know that uh, the right hand thumb rule, when we hold the current carrying conductor, when we hold the current carrying conductor, then the direction of the uh, thumb shows the direction of current and the finger which is wrapping, it shows the direction of magnetic field. So here, if we take this PQ and if we hold it like this, then according to the right hand thumb rule, then you can see that at R, at R, the current is from Q to P, at R, the direction of magnetic field is into the paper. It is going from this side to this side. That means into the paper. And here, 
if you see at uh, s you will see that the direction of current is from q to p thumb is showing the direction of current and the finger is come wrapping in this direction so that means the direction of magnetic field is out of the paper here it is at r it is into the paper and here it is out of the paper then the next question is given r1 is greater than r2 where will be the strength of magnetic field be larger as we have studied earlier that the the strength of the magnetic field is more near the conductor so this is a current carrying conductor so the in the, here you can see at s this distance is less here at the distance is more so at s the magnetic uh, the strength of the magnetic field will be more that means if the we are holding the current carrying conductor so as we go away from the conductor as we go away from the conductor the strength of the magnetic field decreases so at s that is uh, at s the magnetic strength of magnetic field will be more now if the polarity connected to the wire is reversed how would the direction of magnetic field be is changed now in this question if the current is flowing from q to p now the question is if we make the current to pass from p to q so what will happen to the direction of magnetic field the direction of magnetic field will also get reversed okay so if the current is flowing downward then you can see the finger is wrapping in the uh, clockwise direction so here the direction of when we change the direction of current or we can the polarity is changed then the direction of magnetic field is also changed now the last question explain the rule that is used to find the direction of magnetic field for a straight current carrying conductor this i have already explained that the rule which decide this is right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule this is a straight current and the hold the current carrying conductor in your right hand such that the thumb shows the direction of current and the fingers which are wrapping shows the direction of magnetic field